Reflect the Fashion Production. Today we're going to do a how-to on how to wash your hair. Now her hair is already um, wet and we're going to utilize Paul Mitchell products in this video. Now I am right now with my fingers parting her hair in two sections. The reason why I'm doing two sections is because I think it's very important if you are washing your hair alone, you want to be able to manage and maintain your hair, especially if you have um, curly hair, extra curly hair, if your hair it has a lot of density, or if you feel like you can't control or maintain maintain the the, the thickness of your hair. So what I'm doing right now is clipping the front and since it's already wet we are going to put some shampoo on her hair and today we're going to use the lavender mint moisturizing shampoo um, it's the tea tree line from Paul Mitchell So I am already seeing lather, seeing it lather in the back, which is a really good thing. So this right here actually shows me that I won't have to wash her hair several times because it's already getting lathered. So what I'm doing now is basically just working my fingers through her hair. working my fingers through her hair and I'm just getting I'm getting it getting everything getting the scalp and getting the roots so it's really important that you make sure before you wash your hair that you drench your hair really well with the water you clean your hair do like a rinse rinse your hair really good with the water and make sure that your strands are wet and if your strands are completely wet once you get the shampoo it'll be easier for you to get this get how this lathers up and this is this is actually really good that it's lathering it up like this because it's and I don't see a lot of dirt in her hair but I'm gonna go ahead and do a light massage on her scalp and when I massage I'm actually using my fingertip so you can see that that light massage. Now, if you're washing your hair on your own and you're having a hard time getting that light massage, that's totally okay. You can also, you know, keep those sections and use a comb or a brush. So if you were if she was washing her hair on her own, I would definitely recommend you have four sections instead of the three. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna show you four four sections. So here's four sections. And hypothetically speaking, I'm gonna take my comb, which is um like a detangler, and I'm gonna just go through and go ahead and try to detangle as much as I can. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure you start from the root, from the the ends and work your way to the roots. And 
so it's easier for you to comb. So. So if you're working with working by yourself on your hair, that's what you want to do. You want to make sure that it's really really just combed all the way through. And that'll help you when you're rinsing out your hair as well. So what I'm doing right now is the same thing that I did on that side that's towards the camera. just combing through combing it straight through So that's combed all the way through. As you can see. Can you just our nails and I kind of short short Okay, so what we're gonna do on the top is I'm gonna just fast forward through, but I'm gonna go ahead and put shampoo on this side and comb it through. And I'm gonna do the other side as well. So we're just gonna fast forward through. <music> her hair and because I actually um, think that the lather of the shampoo was really good and when I went over to the, the sink I did um, some lightly massage her head again um, as I put a little bit of water in her hair so as I did that what I'm doing now is I'm looking at her scalp now I don't know about you but I know that when I wash her hair she tends to have still dry patches in her hair every now and then and I don't see any dry patches so I'm going to do one more wash I'm gonna do one more wash so I'm gonna take the uh, the clips that I had before and I'm gonna just stick these up here and because that side was not as wet the last time I'm just I'm not gonna twist it I'm gonna just keep it open um, what I'm gonna do is 
This is the shampoo I'm taking about, it's like a quarter size, if you can see that. And I'm going to rub my hands together. And this shampoo is really thick. So it's really thick and I'm, I'm rubbing my fingers through her hair. Here, let me turn it around so you can see. So this time I'm rubbing my fingers through her hair. It's not as um, tangled as it was the first time that I washed her hair. And then I'm gonna lightly massage again. As I lightly massage, I'm pulling out just a little bit. And I'm getting that scalp. So the main objective is to make sure that her scalp is taken care of. And then here at the top, I do have shampoo still on my hand, so I could just rub that in just a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it like a dime size more shampoo in my hand. So if you can see, I rub my hands together. So that's blathering up really well. So what I'm doing is just lightly massaging her head. I think it's important to make sure that you get your scalp really well. Okay, so this section is nice and shampooed. Okay, so I have shampoo still on my hand and I'm on this section of her hair here. I'm just rubbing it through. And I'm gonna get another dime size. Oh, that wasn't a dime size. Okay, so I got a little bit more than just, it just was coming out. I'm just lightly massaging this area too. And you see how the soap just lathered up on her hair? It's just letting me know that her hair is clean. Her hair is clean and 
now we just want to make sure that we get that scalp. So that's what I'm focusing on now. So the best thing to do is when you're washing your hair, the first wash is just washing your hair. You still want to massage your scalp, but you want to make sure that you get the soap, soap in your roots and on your ends. And you get it on your scalp. And then the second time you wash hair, you could you could feel the cleanness. And especially if you have extra extra curly hair, you'll start to see your curls form. And once your curls start to form up, you know that you you are really doing some good washing. Well, she's and she's also had iron work on her hair as well. So I see, I see her curl pattern just a little bit. So I'm going to give a light massage for about a minute. continue to do the three sections that I have going on. Now with the conditioner, what I like to do is I like to leave it on for about five minutes and after I comb, I comb through the hair. So I leave it on for about five minutes. That's the quote unquote deep condition. But that's what I, I like to do just to let it sit for a minute. Because the deep conditioner, you'll have to get under the dryer. We don't have a dryer, and I don't have, um, I don't have a plastic cap. But I'll, I'm gonna show you how you can let your hair sit for about five minutes with the conditioner in your hair. So I'm gonna use this comb here, this brush here. to just detangle her hair. So it's a little bit easier to, to get through. So I did rub my hands together and put one hand on one side and one hand on the other side. So first thing that I'm doing is rubbing my fingers through her hair again just before I go through and brush her hair so it's not as hard. So I'm starting with the roots and working my way through. And 
and this is actually one section within itself so I split the back section in half so technically I do have four sections so I'm just brushing and as I'm brushing I notice that her hair is getting a little bit softer and it's starting to curl up run my fingers through her hair with ease so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pump of the conditioner I'm gonna put it on her ends put it on her roots I'm gonna rub through my hair rub through my hair her hair again and as I'm rubbing through her hair, just in this section, I'm gonna split it in half. Take this part, put this over here with that clip. That's okay. Okay, so I split this in half and I'm gonna take it and twist it. So I'm gonna take this section too, and I'm gonna comb her hair through, through with my fingers. And I'm gonna take it and twist it. And I'm gonna take both of these twists here and I'm gonna just twist it together. Just like this. So then it just looks like one big twist in the back. So now since we're at this side, I'm gonna brush through, because we already have conditioner on it. I'm gonna brush through really good as well. So I got it all brushed through. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the pump through her, her ends, go to her roots, rub my fingers through her hair, split this, split it in half. And I'm gonna twist it. So I'm twisting the top as well. And then I'm taking both of them and I'm twisting them together. So we're gonna just fast forward through this part here. as I do the same thing at the top.
to do here is I'm gonna actually towel dry her hair and then I'm gonna twist it up with me twisting her hair up I am using two things I'm going to use the nourishing oil and the tamer cream this is like my favorite the tamer cream so Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm actually starting the back. How does your head feel? Clean. Clean? take my friend here and I'm going to part her hair a little bit better. Okay, so we got a straight, almost, almost straight part. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, so we have a straight part here. I'm going to take this tamer cream and I'm actually going to... You put about that much in my hand, if you can see that. I'm gonna rub my hands together. And then I'm gonna start in the back, do the roots, do the ends. This is my favorite, um, product out of the tea tree line with Paul Mitchell because it helped, oh my gosh, it's like amazing. So when you put it in your hair and you comb through your hair, it's like a whole nother experience. It's not, it's not bad at all. It smells good. And it smells good. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing now is 
I'm taking one half of that section and I'm going to comb through it, put some nourishing oil on her scalp and twist it up. And I forgot to take the towel and kind of like go through her hair before I put the product on because it's still kind of wet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna towel dry it before I put the nourishing cream on. The nourishing oil knocks her in. It's not cream. It's oil. And I'm putting that on her scalp and I'm going to twist this up. So I'm actually twisting to the scalp. So it'll be easy to, um, work with in the morning. I'm combing through. And like I said before, I even put the tamer cream on, I forgot the towel dry, which I actually think I should towel dry after I put the tamer cream on because, yeah. That makes it easier to uh, comb through. And you still have moisture on your hair after you towel dry it. And I'm just twisting to her scalp. This is called the flat twist. Towel dry the hair again. Applying the oil. And just twisting to the scalp.
Mm -mm. After you put the oil on, you just start twisting.
Okay, so that's it. We'll just soft twist her hair so that she can get ready for bed because she's falling asleep. And in the morning, you can take the soft twist down and you can tap. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. You can style it however you want. Okay, so that's the end of how to wash your hair at home. And we'll see you soon.